there's been a color change in the business or tone change. Um, this generation of executives are more conservative, more management oriented, um, less showman, less controversy. We had big people in the industry for many years, you know, the Dillers, the Eisners, you know, controversy moving, you know. I was a showman, you know, Fred Silverman, I could name a million people. The entertainment business is, you know, it may not be there's no business like show business, but there is a ingredient of magic in it. There is something about instinct. There is something about it. Um, and I'm not saying there's no creativity in marketing Procter and Gamble's brands, but it's a, and and it's it's more of a strategic business in a way. And our business is more visible. You know, no one's walking around and saying, my God, Procter & Gamble's diapers aren't working. What is going on? You know, now maybe Wall Street says that. But, you know, in our business, you throw out something big like Sex in the City. I'm sure everyone is going, what went wrong? You know, but that's the magic in the business. That's the whatever. And the tendency because financial people want answers. There aren't always answers. Um, my daughter told me when she goes to college she wants to do physics and philosophy, and I said, that's great. Two subjects where there are no answers. It would be fantastic. Early on in my career, I hired Frank Biondi, who had been a financial guy. And I knew that Frank was one of the smartest people I knew, and I wanted him in the company. And. I made up a job for him, co-productions. Early days of HBO, we were looking at tapes from Europe, we played an Elton John show, from, you know, it was good, cheap programming. So after Frank, he had been a treasurer at CTW, Children's Television Workshop. And so I proudly came up to him after a couple months, and we were very close. I knew his wife before he did, the kid, his kid was my godchild, and I was rescuing him. And as it turned out, it turned out pretty good for him. So I said, are you enjoying yourself? And he said, you know something that's really frustrating for me? He says, I'm used to doing business where there's an answer. There's no answer here. Yeah, you buy Elton John, yeah, I think it'll be good. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's subjective, which I loved. So that's what's happening to these companies. Squeeze as much of the subjective out as much of the risk and the magic um, make a sequel make a prequel you know make an animated movie we don't have to deal with actors you know I mean there's a there's a lot of that and on television do a reality program we're not we're not gonna we're not risking so much are you embarrassed about doing a show about the biggest loser and a weight loss show on primetime television? I don't know. It's not what I grew up to do. Um, so that's where a lot of that is coming, when there's the millionaire and they put it on ABC, 50 different places on the schedule. I mean, you know, that's not showmanship. That's purely money, business. The, the, the best companies will do a blend of that. We'll, we'll try to keep both of it alive. But the business has triumphed over the creative. In the old days, it was vice versa. So that's been a, that's been a big change.